Before the new winery facilities were built, we had been making wine in the co-op building, which is it's a very renowned building in Napa, and it's been around for decades and decades, and it was somewhat dilapidated. So the new winery buildings were built from scratch with the intention of first and foremost making the highest quality wine possible, but also to be very environmentally responsible. So when the planning was taking place, we were looking for all the different facets that were needed uh, during the winemaking process. Also important for wine quality is how to handle the fruit very gently and to be able to inspect each and every cluster that is harvested. So we have very extensive sorting um, systems in place, long stretches of sorting tables so that I can set the criteria such that only perfect clusters and perfect berries make their way into the tanks. Another facet that I can expound upon is the temperature control for the fermentation tanks. Uh, we have heating both around the tanks but also from the bottom. There's heating elements that help to, uh, to heat or cool depending on the stage that you're in. As an example, when we go through the sorting process and have the grapes delivered to the tanks, um, if I want to cool those down for a cold soak period, I can do that very deliberately and very quickly. Uh, within a matter of a couple hours, I'll have the exact temperature that I, that I desire. And that's typical of our winemaking process is that we'll have a cold soak that extends from usually four to eight days. During those, uh, during that period of cold soak, I'll taste the tanks twice a day to make sure that we're at the place where I want to be before we transition into native fermentation. And we're able to transition very um, smoothly into native fermentation because of the temperature control. I'll, I'll simply just adjust the temperature slightly upwards and let the tank come to temperature and it may take two or three days to get there but I want it to be deliberate and slow. I don't want to shock the native yeast that are that are ultimately going to ferment the juice. In our barrel shea, in order to maximize our efficiency, the heating and cooling is happening through the floor. So there's hot or cool water running just below the surface of the floor which will slowly warm or cool the room. I love that because it's a very even cooling and a, or an even uh, heating so that each of the barrels are, are consistent um, with that slow gradual approach towards heating through the flooring uh, it helps to provide a consistency in your temperatures and as a winemaker that's important especially during the malolactic period as we do uh, all of our all of our malolactics of reds and barrel to have that ability um, to have that control and consistency within your stacks is, is a great uh, luxury. My goal is to let the vineyard express itself as much as it possibly can. I want to take the role of steward of the land to allow that expression. The organic farming, as an example, um, I think helps create a healthy environment for the vineyard to express itself. It also builds longevity uh, within the vineyard. And I think most importantly, the, the greatest element um, of organic farming that helps build quality is the fact that it forces me to be in the vineyard more often.